How many people have died? This year, 2,224 people have perished that didn't have to. 9,400 deaths caused by toxic drugs since B.C. declared a public health emergency in 2016. The B.C. Coroner's Service released its latest report on illicit drug toxicity deaths, and some are just sick of counting. We're so used to people dying around here that, um, uh, you know, it's, it's second fiddle to us, which, uh, which shouldn't be the case. The latest report notes 174 people died in February, the 17th consecutive month where more than 150 fatalities were recorded. Toxicology results show an alarming increase in benzodiazepines found in drugs, going from being detected in 15% of samples in July 2020 to 43% this February. It's only going to get worse. I predict it'll be just, uh, it'll sneak in the way fentanyl did. Uh, the dealers will use it to uh, increase increase their margins and uh, eventually people will get addicted to it. Peer advocates have long called for a safe supply and the decriminalization of drugs to help reduce stigma and save lives. The Minister of Mental Health and Addictions reacting to the latest numbers after announcing 50 spaces in the Langley area for people with mental health and substance use challenges who are at risk of or experiencing homelessness. Our government is announcing new mental health and substance use supports like we are today, almost every week we have not been able to outpace the terrible increases in drug toxicity. Doctors working in addiction say they continue to take multiple approaches, including prescribing medications as a safer alternative to street drugs. This is a seriously complex issue. Uh, we do one area of uh, approach and the other area opens up for us to learn and then try to see what gaps are there for us to fulfill it. With BC on track to record 10,000 toxic drug deaths before the end of the year, Van Du and the Drug User Liberation Front will mark the sixth anniversary of BC declaring a public health emergency this Thursday. We're going to be giving away 17 grams of uh, tested clean methamphetamine, heroin and cocaine. Uh, we did this five times last year and we're going to keep doing it until uh, someone pays attention. In Vancouver, Crystal Adiris, City News.